Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Good morning. Morning everyone. Welcome back to The Thinker. Yes indeed. Welcome to all our new subscribers. Thank you so much. We are so close now to hitting 10,000. So anyone that's not already done so, please consider <laughs> subscribing. We really appreciate it. Yes indeed. Hopefully we get there in the next few weeks. Yeah. Still in the old kitchen. Um, wall behind us is finished now. This is the old Seven bread space. oven for anyone that's new to the channel that we've restored. Mm. Um, massive in there, massive. Um, yeah, so this wall's done, we've done the ceiling, um, we've been working on this wall here, uh, it needs another coat, but we're also in the process of putting down a concrete, well, not concrete, limecrete, um, screed if you like, along this uh, side, so that this bench eventually can move back over there. But it's not going to look like it's that. It's not going to look like that. <laughs> beef it all up, make it all chunky from the north. That's just going to be the basic carcass for it. Yes. Well, it should be coming up soon. Yeah. But yeah, we kind of, we talked on the last video about bits over there and behind it that we were going to do, but we really need to get this floor finished. It's holding we? us up really, because until that's completely gone off, this can't be moved, which means we can't work on this wall. Um, I can't even stand on it to do another coat of yes, lime wash, so it really everything. is stopping work at the moment. So we're going to crack on with that today and get that done. Yeah, and it takes several days to go off as well, so another yeah. reason we want to get it done as soon as possible. So that's what we're going to do now. Yes, so let's get on with it. Let's do it. mixing well, let's fill up well that's the idea anyway oh. Oh, the washing is done <laughs> the size of the little song It's only going to be the base of a, a cupboard. No one's going to be parking a car on it or anything. <laughs> We've got yet another wheelbarrow for sand and gravel. Sharon's just doing the lime mix for it now. I reckon we're going to need probably three more. Get it ready, make a little well in it. All we're doing, chucking the lime in and then turning it over and mixing it in with a shovel so it's all sloppy, all wetted down, uh, pouring it in. We're getting better at this mix, everyone we do. The last one is a bit sloppy, it has cracked a little bit. But it doesn't matter. Please. 
time. Wow. Okay, spread about. That was a magical mix up. I'm going to get another one on straight away. I'm getting faster at this. <laughs> you do though, the more you practice things. Number two. It looks like two might do it, but I bet it won't. <laughs> it's got to run in a bucket or something. But um, it won't be that rough. This should get a good workout doing this, isn't it? I thought I'd move those things. <coughs> See how far this one's gone, but we're not quite clean that time. <sighs> Well, we are going to need one more, I think. One more should be more than enough. Um, if there's a bit left over, we'll find a hole somewhere to throw it. Stay there for posterity. 
um, Alfie was here. So now we've got not only Alfie, but Jessie has put her paw prints in. They like to leave their mark, just in case we ever forget them. Bless. Nightmare children. So with the floor out of the way, I'm going to get this bit done along the bottom of there and round this side um, so Sharon can carry on with the pointing. There's a couple of holes to fill in, one being there. <coughs> and um, the bottom just wants tidying up really. So, oh I need my hammer, where's it gone? It's over there. Then Fab. Okay in there. Right, let's see what we can do with this on here. I've wet it all down already. We'll just try and fill this in. It's only a little bit at the bottom, just to smooth it off. too painful. Um, I've got along the bottom there done. I've got some pointed up where the big holes are under there. I've got a bit of a coat on these initially um, to flatten that off. It's actually pretty flat. <laughs> my, my struggle is getting it polished smooth with plaster and get it like a mirror but with lime and sand I struggle a bit. Um, but I'll get there. So um, and I've just realised I've just missed this crack out here so I'm just going to get that filled in now. I, I don't know how clear they're going to come out but these whole, these grooves in the wall are from years and years and years of um, water damage leaking in absolutely years to, to put a groove like that in it. Um, try and wiggle it about so you can see them. I've just smeared them in at the top um, hopefully they won't be seen but it doesn't matter if they do I suppose. Right now, it's all done. Um, see what it looks like in the morning when it's dry. Um, might have to do a little bit more on this, I don't know. See what Sharon thinks, see if Sharon's happy or not. Um, but yeah, it's a, a good bit of progress anyway today. Before we do anything in the house this morning, um, we want to take this um, shade sail down. Um, we'll forecast strong winds for the next couple of days and some rain as well they say um, don't believe them of course um, but also we've been sat out here every night now and it's, it's turning cold it's forecast to get into um, single digit figures um, celsius that is overnight so it's unlikely we're going to be sitting out but of course we still will be in the day when it's sunny and having that there keeps the sun off us so double bonus take it down protect it from the winds and allow sun in during the day there's also a big sandy mark in the centre of it where the sandy rain sat on it. So we're going to try and clean it off. But we've not got much time because it's forecast to get windy in about an hour or so. The first thing to do is to take the TV inside. see this brown stain here where the water was just going to actually 
Looks like you might just brush off that. That's good. Save getting it wet because you want to get it in before the wind starts. Can you imagine this in a, a strongish wind? You see now we're getting sun shining already. Beautiful. I think what I'm going to do is going to drop it down onto the table and um, see if I can give it a bit of a hose off with a bit of a brush. Um, get it cleaned up. And then we can get it dry and we'll put it away. Oops, help is helping of course, it wasn't until I turned the whole spire on. Brilliant. Right, so um, we've made a little error, um, well not particularly, but when we did this floor in here, this step, we put a slab down here, not knowing what the height was going to be because the existing stones were actually higher than this. So we thought we'd put this down low enough so we could put something over the top. But now we know our new levels, um, it's got to come out unfortunately. So I've got super big shifter. Um, I'm just going to, shouldn't take much getting out. Not with this anyway. <laughs> I'm just going to see if I can get it up without damaging any of the walls that I've just fixed. I hate taking things out that we've done. But it's got to be done. So let's have a look. Now where should we start? Start here. much better now it's still maybe a little bit Alfie's inspecting it he has to inspect everything might be a little bit high in a couple of places but at least it's just we can just dig them out easily um, should the need arise when we come to do the floor and um, just get the bar behind them and they should pop out those bigger stones but we think we can work with them so we've made what we think is the final of all the mess this morning we've got rid of that concrete slab there. Um, the place is a mess again, we only tied it all up yesterday, not yesterday, day before was it? So we need to have a good clear up I think before we carry on with anything else because we're just walking dust everywhere and it's all in the atmosphere. So yeah, we're going to crack on and have a bit of a clear up this afternoon. Get rid of all these bits of plasterboard that we had to put down when we just got loose rubble over there because the cats were using it as a litter tray so they can go now we don't need it anymore and get henry out again i think so i'll get rid of this So next I want to get this wall pointed up um, just a lot. I'm just doing the edge just so Sharon can paint this whole wall. Um, seems daft not to finish it now. We're on to it. So and I'll come and do the rest later but at least if this is done it can be painted. And another chunk of it done. Well, that's a change of mind. There's a surprise. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to point the whole of this corner up while I'm at it, um, then it's done. 
And that's us nice and clean again. <laughs> I don't suppose it'll last very long. Um, but now that's done, Andy's doing that wall. I can't paint until that's gone off. But there's a little bit here, which is the wall in between the corral and the old kitchen, which has never been painted. I don't know how I missed it when I did the corral. Um, so I thought I'd use my time this afternoon and get this little bit done. So Andy's uh, done all of that, which is fabulous, which means once that's gone off, I can move across and get this wall completely finished. Um, <laughs> I've done my little wall around the corner that you can't see, which I showed you earlier, and now I'm just onto this wall. This is the bit that Andy did oh, a while ago now, just as a sample to see how it would cover, because this is really, well, I don't know, it's like a polished finish and very difficult to get the limestone to. Soak in. Limestone? Lime wash. <laughs> Just soak in. Um, so this bit down here, some parts of it you wouldn't even think I've done, but I have, I assure you. But this has had two coats as opposed to that one coat. Um, we'll see tomorrow how it dries anyway, but I'm going to, my idea is to do everything, one coat first, and then start again at the beginning with the second coat. But we are getting there slowly. And I forgot, we've still got the, uh, the shade sail to put away. The wind is picking up, but thank goodness it hasn't rained, so I think it should be dry now. I'm gonna go and wash my brushes, and then we'll fight to get that back in the bag. And there we are, all done. Um, we couldn't film it, because it's so incredibly windy out there now. <laughs> We're fighting with it. But we've done it, it was easier than we thought. So then we can put that away now until next spring. Happy days. Well, we had a little bit of rain overnight, about eight millimetres, um, not a lot, um, but a bit. It's actually blowing a hula this morning, and uh, things are blowing around everywhere, very, very strong. And as you can see, it's much cooler. I've got my fleece on. Um, I don't know how much we're going to get done today. Sharon's at the dentist, and later on, the great news is we can hopefully go and pick up the car. Um, so, I'm just going to carry on with this wall. You remember I marked out my two lines, I think it was on the last video. I'm going to build a thinner wall up here and then we're going to have shelves on both sides of it. So I've got some stones, I've got a bucket of water to dip them in to try and help them stick because it's only going to be thin and um, yeah, we'll get a mix on them, we'll see what we can do with it. So we're off. The first one is in. Fabulous. I should imagine there's going to be quite a lot of little holes and stuff um, in the front foot that will need pointing after. The stones are round, it's very hard to get them to butt up to each other, but um, that's excellent. Right, I've picked a few out by the way of course first. Um, carry on. Do you know what, I think this might actually work. Um, fantastic, so slow. <laughs> I think what I'm probably going to do is just do a little bit each day and then carry on with something else. Um, but yeah, it's going to work. I'm pretty confident about it now. Um, exciting. Uh, it's warmed up a bit as you can tell. I've just had a message from the mechanic. They sent me a video, the car's running, he said it's ticking like a clock. <laughs> so hopefully he's just got to test it all and check it all and we can go and get it in a bit. Um, God, I'm so excited about this. Right, the biggest problem I've got now is finding stones. I'm going to have to go and have a hunt around, get stones that are 100 millimetres wide, 10 centimetres wide. Hopefully we'll try and get them with flat tops and things on them. And also I need another bunch of stones to fill in, smaller stones to fill in the holes. I could do with another pile like I had in there um, when we started out. But, um, so yeah, I'll go and do that. Right, so there's a few more, I've just been outside with a tape measure. Um, each of these measures 100 mil across one face or another. And um, I've tried to select ones that are kind of flattish, or as flat as we can get them, to enable them us to build up on top of them. Um, there's a few there. Uh, they're not quite as easy to find as I would have thought. Um, but there's certainly enough there for the next step up anyway. So this slab's drying out nicely, um, which now means probably that this coat, this wall can now get a second coat. Um, that wall's already to be painted, quick recap. Um, so yeah, we've got it all to do. 
as soon as I want to get that bench move, I keep saying this so we can start on that wall then because that's going to be another mission. Um, but in the meantime, uh, Shaman's going to be back shortly. Hello, Catsy. You can hear no paw prints on the thing today. And uh, we're hopefully going to go and get the car. So thanks so much for watching. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you made it this far, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us out, of course. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. Thanks also to our Patreons and everyone that's bought us a beer. And we'll see you on the next one.